Hey everyone, welcome to another RC weekend vlog. I'm at the shop and I'm actually by myself because uh, Sean is hanging out with his mom right now, but I'm getting ready to start another video and it's gonna be a tufting video and I'm so excited. So I finally got, not finally, because I literally talked about it for like five minutes and then immediately got it. Um, but I got a projector for tufting because you've seen people like draw up their own designs like on your laptop or on like your iPad or something and then you can project it onto the tufting fabric and like trace it that way and that's kind of how people like trace lettering and like get really good crisp drawings um, unlike the little ghosty that we did because I literally just like freehanded him onto the tufting fabric but I want to get into using like a projector so that I can possibly draw up some stuff because I'm not I'm not good at drawing, okay? I'm just going to tell you. I want to tuft like a giant hatch. Does that make sense? Like, you know those, I'm not going to iron it on, but you know those like iron on patches? I want to tuft like a huge piece to kind of like somehow glue to the back of a jacket so that it'll be like an enormous hatch I'm so excited and I want it to be I was thinking because I have these like really big buttons from doing the Coraline makeup I did the other mother makeup on my main channel for like Halloween last year I want to take some of those buttons and do like I don't know some like tufted thing with the other mother like do some creepy drawing with the other mother and then like glue it on to the back of a jacket and then sew the buttons on I don't know I just feel like that'll be so cool and like so 3d anyway that's that's like the full idea so <laughs> anyway so tufting adventures for the next art video include projector pretty exciting uh, I don't know how it's gonna go because I'm gonna have to like trace her face because that's the part that I'm not good at drawing uh, but then I want to like draw the rest of it because obviously I don't want to like straight up copy an exact you know picture of the other mother like I want to make it my own somehow so anyway that's what I'm getting ready to do God, I feel like I lugged everything over like I feel like I dragged my entire life over here thankfully it's like 50 degrees <laughs> I can feel my soul returning I can smell life returning to the world it's great all right some updates <laughs> from the last time I talked to you guys I redid my hair and I'm like fully obsessed I even like cut it myself because <laughs> I kind of have always just done that like colored my own hair and then cut it myself um, I have obviously gone to the like salon before I just kind of like doing it myself I can't believe how like gross it was looking I feel like every time I go to redo my hair I didn't realize how gross it looked <laughs> before I redid it. So I thought while I'm trying to like figure out how this um, projector works that we could kind of just chit chat and hang out because last week I uploaded um, that Jasmine Knight video and the whole beginning one of the video I was talking about, um, I think I talked about it for like five minutes at the beginning of the video, why I'm not working with resin anymore and I was so freaking nervous uh, to upload that and like talk about it and stuff like on the main channel I just I was scared that people were gonna be upset and feel like I was just abandoning the whole like channel you know reasoning um, but it went over pretty well like I would say 99.9% .9 of people were mega ultra supportive and super cute and adorable and <sighs> I love you guys so much. I'm super happy that I did it and I said what I wanted to say. You know, I didn't cut any corners or anything like that and we just, we came out on the other side totally fine. So anyway, pretty happy with that. What else? I feel like there was something else I was gonna tell you. I honestly feel like having said all of that stuff in the beginning of the video, by the way, if you are confused as to what I'm talking about, I uploaded a video last week on my main channel uh, it's the Jesmonite video and the whole beginning I was just kind of like explaining why I don't want to work with resin anymore so if you don't know why you can go check out that video but after like now having said all those things and like uploading it to the main channel and like seeing everyone's super supportive positive feedback is like 
I almost feel free because <laughs> I feel like resin was trapping me, but then also having not said anything on the main channel and like fully explaining myself was also sort of trapping me. And like I could have gone on just testing out different arts and not said anything and it would have kind of been the same. Like we could have just moved on, but that doesn't feel like me, honestly. Like, I don't know. I just wanted to be totally honest with you guys and upfront and I didn't want to like try to slip something by you without you noticing, you know? It felt weird, so I had to say something. Anyway, I'm just really happy that I said something. I don't know what this plugs into. Like I, what does this plug into? Like what would this plug into? This reminds me of like old stuff, like plugging in like an original Xbox or something. <laughs> Doesn't, isn't that what that looks like? Anyway, you know, I should probably consult the directions. Let me know if you're a uh, follow the directions kind of person or a throw the directions out the window and fuss with it for like an hour because that's me. Oh, that's, <laughs> I'm silly. There we go. One thing plugged in. Fabulous. Why are your legs so long? <laughs> Why are they so extendy? Ah! I almost just destroyed everything. It's so bright in here, actually. Is that a problem? Oh my god, it is projecting something. Ah! Well, I mean, it's like on, so it's probably just a freaking light. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to like put a sheet over this enormous window. To like make the room darker. Oh, I can't tell what it's projecting because it's way too freaking bright in here. So I'm gonna turn some lights off and try to co cover this window. Could tape all my aprons up against the window. <laughs> Still looks so bright, but I swear it's it's much darker in here now, and it's actually a sheet of tuft 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 tufting fabric. <laughs> Look, it's working! Oh my god! I have no idea um what it's showing though. Ah, here we go. Okay, press settings. What? Select HDMI. It's just blue. Oh! <gasps> Can you guys even see that? You can kind of see it. That's just showing like what's on my laptop right now. So I have Photoshop opened from making my thumbnail. And that's my thumbnail. So it's working. Great. Yes. Uh, just a little quick update. E.T. has entered the building. <laughs> uh, I saw on the bottom of it that it had like a little, like, you know, a spot where you could screw it onto a tripod. So I kind of had to do it. Look at him. He's ready. This side looks more like E.T. or like a little robot or something. Anyway, <laughs> look at him. We should name him. <laughs> we should freaking name him and then I'll label it on the top. Anyway, if you come up with a, a hilarious name for my, my projector tripod robot guy, let me know in the comments. I love him. You know what I didn't think of though? Plugging it into my laptop with it on a tripod like this, probably not gonna be that easy. Probably would have been better on the on the table that I've already folded up and stuffed away and was really happy that I did that. I don't know, maybe I'll maybe I'll be a daredevil and just like balance my laptop on the fan. Uh, probably shouldn't do that, but probably gonna do it. <laughs> Alright, so just filmed the intro, and this is kind of the setup that I'm going with. So I have my little flower table that we made in a video, still super stunning. But yeah, I've got my laptop on there, and then the camera's here, projector is here. <laughs> I don't know why you just think it's so funny looking. Anyway, and then we'll be tufting. So I am going to have to come back later. One, because we're going to have to head to Michael's and grab some yarn because I don't have Two, it's still way too bright. Even though I blocked the window, it's still way too bright with all of my lights off. I can't see much like I wouldn't be able to draw like a super crisp you know drawing and also I have to come up with sort of what I want this to look like because obviously I don't want to just 
copy. I think I already talked to you guys about this, right? <laughs> it's hard because I I talked to, to like three different cameras. <laughs> yeah, so I don't I don't want to copy uh, just one picture. I kind of want to make my own, combine a few different pictures and maybe some text. Because what I was thinking was maybe I'll just watch the movie tonight, give myself an excuse as if I need one, uh, to watch Coraline and kind of get a quote. Maybe something cool that the other mother says uh, in the movie because I do want like some kind of text maybe like going around the top or something I don't know so I think we're gonna take tonight to gather the supplies and then form kind of the exact idea that I want I know like roughly what I want but I think I should probably come up with some kind of sketch of what I'm what I'm gonna be tufting so anyway I'm probably gonna head out now and I think Sean's home now but we got the intro done and everything is set up for later so I shouldn't have to spend too much time like especially as much time as I just spent uh, setting everything up and like doing the intro so anyway I'll see you at home I changed the ISO there we go for a second it was like really bright I changed it <laughs> all right it's the next day I think the last thing I said was that I would see you at home didn't <laughs> didn't see you there uh but <laughs> we are at a i guess it's a pastry place last time i was here i got a bunch of chocolate stuff so that's kind of all i remember but anyway we're about to get some chocolate things yeah we will all right so we are back home and i just wanted to show you what we got at that little bakery bakery candy shop pastry i don't know so we got i picked this one it's like a strawberry cheesecake and then Sean got a like carrot cake cupcake. And then in this box, we got a couple of like enormous peanut butter cups, an M&M pretzel, and then a chocolate dipped s'more. So it's a bit later and we're at the shop because I just 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 I just did the like drawing of the whoa of the other mother on the tufting fabric. So here's like my little sketch of it. <laughs> Not super great, but this is kind of the idea that I wanna do for the jacket. I wanna do some stars around her and I just kinda of want her to be creepy in the center of the jacket. So I'm just gonna show you guys because I feel like, why not? So this is the drawing of her that I've done on the tufting fabric, obviously with the assistance of the projector. But I mean, honestly, like a lot of it, I, I freehanded. So I freehanded this, like her whole bony chest area and her mouth and some of the like cracks. You'll see that I messed up some of them here, but I mean, I think it looks so good. Like it came out so good, like too good. Yeah. I'm suspicious of myself. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to leave her. Like, I kind of want to just hang out with her. You can stay here with her. She's going to be in here in the dark. <laughs> I feel like I look like I'm wearing a wig. Like, my hair is wild right now. It's because of the dry shampoo. I literally drenched my hair in dry shampoo yesterday. So, and then I wake up looking like this. Anyway, so that was our weekend. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and my art channel, and follow me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys to absolute death, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I don't know where my voice is right now.